Hey all, I hope you're doing good, uh, whether it's morning or evening over there. Um, I have a quick video I'd like to put out about what exactly happens, at least from my perspective, from my experience, what happens uh, if a person stops uh, going into the presence of God, stops praying as much, and this would be, I guess, for a good video for anybody, because for, for like an unbeliever who does not uh, believe in God, who does not follow God, we we'll kind of give you like an abstract uh, concept of what a relationship is like with God, why it's real. Uh, for somebody who, like myself, is kind of like finds himself not being in the presence of God so much, it's uh, encouraging to renew their commitment to God, encourage them to, uh, once again, to, you know, run back to Jesus. Uh, and for somebody who is, um, you know, well, doing well spiritually, this is just the more reason to, to just encourage you to keep your uh, focus on Jesus Christ, to uh, seek Jesus, uh, seek to be pleasing to Him and His will. Uh, so, well, I was on a kind of a, a month-long vacation from school and college, and Ideally, I should have been praying more, but I, it's, it's odd, but I found myself praying less and less and less. And now, looking back, this is kind of like I kind of put a little summary. Like, these are the things that I noticed. These are the things. Uh, first of all, um, understanding God's heart, you, you stop being sensitive to the Holy Spirit's leading, you know. The things that are in the world that are offensive, uh, usually you sense it right away what's offensive to God and what's not. But as you draw back from Him, He, like the Bible says, He draw, you know, He will draw back from you, and um, you stop understanding, you stop feeling insensitive to what's uh, pleasing to God and what's offending Him. So you, you definitely stop. Uh, understanding God's will, in a way. Okay. Um, another big thing is something I really enjoy because my previous life, before I became a Christian, was always filled with uh, just this kind of like this low-key misery. You know, I was just not satisfied, not happy inside. So what I noticed in this past month is that once I stopped praying so much, or, you know, like I used to, I noticed that. I started noticing when I was irritated more before I wasn't really irritated but now here and I am like you know getting upset over these little things you know these menial little things uh, or I would uh, be unsatisfied where I have absolutely no reason to be unsatisfied I have absolutely everything I need I am probably the most blessed individual you know I consider myself more blessed, more well off than 99% of the people in the world because I'm, I'm, I have everything I need, you know, God's providing everything I need, and I have that inner peace, that joy, that I, that's the key, you know, that what he gives, gives you that completeness, and I started noticing that started kind of receding, started getting less and less, so that's also started kind of alarming me, uh, I want that back, so I started praying more. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm sure you're probably all aware of that concept that the Bible says keep you know um, every thought captive to Jesus Christ and to obedience to Him. Well, while while you spend a lot of time with Jesus Christ. That is very natural because you immediately, anything that comes into your mind, you, you immediately uh, understand, is it from God, is it from the enemy, is it something that the, you know, some demonic spirits are inducing into you, or is it something of yourself, just something random. So once you stop praying, you stop uh, seeking God, that becomes very uh, muddled up, you're not understanding it very well, okay? So that's, that's also kind of... Uh, started alerting me, you know, like, oh, wait a second, what's going on? 
Okay, so you're not sure if it's just an impulse from the enemy, and if it is, you're not rebuking it in the name of Jesus Christ like you should be right away. So you're not effective, okay? Uh, and uh, another thing, uh, you kind of stop trusting God. You start, you start uh, leaning on your own uh, plans. You stop, you start making uh, your own plans without consulting God. Uh, and that's where problems begin. You start being independent, and you stop needing God. And uh, of course, that doesn't go very far. You know, uh, you don't get far on your own strength. You become confused. You become irritated. You stop uh, uh, understanding what's going on. And um, Hopefully, at this point, you, you start running back to God because you're saying, okay, what's going on? How did I mess up? Lord Jesus Christ, reveal yourself to me. Show me what's going on. Uh, I love you. I want to be back in your presence. And he's very faithful, and he seeks this repentance, this repentant spirit, this repentant heart. And uh, he, he forgives you, and he gives you that peace back and that... Um, this presence and it's very important so this is kind of like in a nutshell this is kind of what uh, I experienced and uh, I pray that this somehow helps you and to inspires you to to take it seriously to spend time with Jesus Christ to uh, read the Bible and but most importantly you know you can you can if you stop spending time in His presence, you can become many things that are not pleasing to God. You can become a religious hypocrite. You know, you you are searching after the doctrine. You want to be, you know, biblically correct, so to say. You know, you have to. You're gonna try to be just this dogmatic fool. You know, you're gonna stop caring about God, the God Spirit, and you're gonna start caring about being right, like the law, uh, or you can become proud, you know, you can just start uh, listening to God's direction, you can start depending on yourself, that will lead to pride, that will lead you astray, or, you know, worst case scenario, you'll become a complete heretic, you will start uh, following doctrines of demons, and that will, it will not end good, so, uh, hopefully, uh, this kind of gives you some insight, if, uh, this is just from my own perspective, this is not, you know, uh, I don't know. This is just what I uh, experienced, and uh, I want to share it with you. So here it is. Okay, uh, let me know what you think. Um, just uh, yeah, take it that. Okay, I hope you're having a good day, and uh, God bless you.